Sino sila at saan sila mapupunta? Base dito sa Book of Life, sila ay isang gang na kilala din sa pagbibinta at paggamit ng mga droga. Sila ay naging sakim at matakaw nito. Inalay nga nila ang kanilang buhay, ngunit sa kasamaan naman. Kailanman hindi sila nagkaroon ng oras para kilalanin at mahalin ang Diyos. Kailan may hindi sila gumaganawa ng kabutihan para sa kanilang kapwa. Kaya mapupunta sila sa impyerno. Ha? Huh? Bakit naman sa impyerno ang punta nila? Hindi ba sila mahal ng Panginoon? <clears throat> Maki, lahat ng tao ay mahal ng Panginoon. Kailan may di siya tumigil sa pagmamahal. Pagmamahal sa kanila. But God cannot dictate and impose His will and love for them because of human freedom. Tama. God is not punishing them for their sins. Hmm. Their sins became their punishment. Kung tutusin nga ay mahal na mahal tayo ng Panginoon to the point of giving His only begotten Son, born of a mother who is pure and blessed. Excuse me, what part of heaven am I in? Ah, uh, what's your name, sir? I am Don Jose Carlos Miguel Alvarez I Maluluyon. I own 10 piggeries, 28 poultry farms, 3 malls, 58 schools, 29 universities. And I have 38 dogs of different breeds. <laughs> sir! What? I also support various of charities such as Bantay Bata 163, Don Bosco Boys Home of Liluan, House of Hope in Cebu, Laura Vicuña Foundation, and I am the CEO of Don Bosco for Unprivileged and Marginalized Youth. <laughs> you are now in the threshold of heaven. Lahat ng mga pagmamayari mo ay wala nang halaga dito. The final judgments will depend on how you live your life nung buhay ka pa. Oh, I see. So, saan nga pala yung VIP room ko? Can you take me there? Kasi you know na, I feel tired already. Excuse me lang naman po, Mr. Attitude. Ay, este. Sir, <clears throat> Sir, wait lang po. Tingnan lang po natin dito sa Book of Life kung saan ka patungo. Ah, hmm? Saan eh? Ah, yes. Hmm. Sir? Ba base po dito sa Book of Life, ah, hindi ka pa mapupunta sa langit. What? I deserve an explanation. After all that I have done, this is what I will receive as a reward. Sa dinami-dami kong taong natulungan, hindi ako mapupunta sa langit. <laughs> oh, come on! This is unreasonable. I have spent millions, billions of money to help other people. And this is what I get. Foolishness. Let me talk to your manager. <laughs> Alam mo, pasalamat sa na maraming tao ang patuloy nagdarasal para sa kanya. Kaya, mapupunta siya sa purgatorio. Hmm. Ang yabang naman ang taong to. 
Kung hindi dahil sa kanila, nasa impyerno na sana siya. Oo. Tumutulong nga siya. Ah, Buong-buo nga ang pagbibigay niya. Ngunit, ginagawa niya ito para makakuha ng papuri sa ibang tao. Ah, kung totoo nga ang pagiging bukas palad niya, hindi niya, da, hindi niya binibilang ang kanyang mga binibigay. Wait. Okay. Ako, ako nang bahalang magpaliwanag sa kanya. Saan yan? <clears throat> Sir? Sa impyerno po, ah, sorry. Sa purgatorio po, ang punta niyo. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. You will be in heaven soon enough. Ano ba ang gagawin ko doon? Mm. Wala na ibang paraan upang mas mapabilis ang pagpunta ko sa langit? Mm. Mm. Magkano bang langit, ha? Magkano? Ano ba? <laughs> Sir, hindi po nabibili ang langit. Lahat ng bagay sa mundo ay wala ng halaga dito. Ang maipapayo ko lang po sa iyo ay ipagdasal mo yung taong patuloy na nagdarasal para sa iyo. Through the intercession of Mary, tiyak na didinggin ng Panginoon ang lahat ng panalangin mo at nung nagdarasal para sa iyo. Mahal naman talaga tayo ng mahal na ina. Kung kadiliman lang ang ating nakikita, tawagin mo lang siya. And she will always be there for you. Akay niya tayo lagi, Don Jose. Yan ang dapat mong tandaan. Kung ito lang natatanging paraan. Sige. I will do it. Ah, you should. Dahil si Maria ang ating bukod tanging gabay patungo kay Jesus na kaniyang anak. Maria, maaari 
pupang kayo'y aking tawagin inay Maria maaari pupang kayo'y aking tawagin inay Maria Ipanalangin mo itong puso kong nagbabalik. Tanong ko lang. Anong pista ng mahal na ina ang tinutukoy ninyo kanina? Tomorrow is the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of Mary. Immaculate Conception? Ah! Ano nga yun? Hmm. Ito ay ang paglilihi kay Berheng Maria ng walang bahay na kasalanang orihinal sa sinapupunan na kanyang ina na si Santa Ana. Ang ibig sabihin nito'y Pinanatili si Maria ng walang kasalanan sa pamagitan ng grasyang binigay sa kanya ng Diyos ayon sa iniatas sa kanyang papel na maging ina ni Jesus ang tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan. Tama. Kung ikaw ba naman ang Panginoon at bibigyan ka ng pagkakataong pumili kung sino ang iyong magiging ina, Diyak na pipiliin mo ay ang inang karapat dapat. Kung baga, nasa kanya na ang lahat. At higit sa lahat, malinis. Walang bahid ng kasalanan. Hmm? Ah, ang swerte ko naman siguro kung siya ang maging ina ko, di ba? Ina naman talaga natin siya. Sapagkat siya ang reyna ng langit at lupa. At kaya ako nagtitiktok dahil naghahanda rin ako para sa presentasyon ko bukas. Mm. Ikaw, Gabriel. Mm. May item ka na rin ba? <laughs> Wala pa eh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hindi ako nakapag-insayo sa dami kong gawin. What if... Magduet na lang kaya tayo. Talaga? Hmm. Naalala mo pa ba yung kantang... <clears throat> As I opened my teary eyes, I saw a light coming from the sky. And there was a lady standing before me. Oh. And then she touched my lips and told me not to weep. For fate will ease my aching heart and save me from the dark. Then I realized who she was. She's someone that I have ignored, and but gave me chance once more. She is Mary, the lady who showed me the way. She was once full of sorrow, but now full of grace. Someone that I've never called. But gave her hand to hold If someone like her Can bear all the pain Why can't I be the same If only I could have Mary's faith And now I know that this life would matter if only I gave my sweet surrender unto her she is Mary, 
a lady who showed me the way. She was once full of sorrow, but now full of grace. Someone that I've never called, but gave her hand to hold. If someone like her can bear all the pain, why can't I be this If only I could have Mary's faith. Ooh. Wow! Ang <sighs> galing-galing nyo naman dalawa! <laughs> you really sound so... Angelic. Oh, yun. Ayun. Salamat, Maki. Pero alam nyo, may masigagan na po yung presentation ninyo. Hmm. Talaga? Ano naman yun, Maki? Siyempre, mas gagan na yan. Pagkasama ako. Hmm. Alam nyo, nung nasa seminary pa ako, may ginawang isang kanta yung rector namin para sa mahal na ina. Check this out. Makinig kayo, kaibigan, sa mga sasabihin ko Sapagkat okay to sa akin, Chuck, na okay din sa inyo Ang sasabihin ko ay dapat nyo lang malaman At kaganda at sasaya ang bawat tahanan Kung nais ninyo, friends, buhay nyo ay sumiglak on Let's stand up and proclaim together Jesus' name You know with Mary by our side, we can move on with our life She'll stay with us and pray every day Hey, everybody, say a Loud. Yo, isigaw natin Maria o oh Maria Siya'y mahal namin Yes, Maria Kaya isigaw natin Maria o oh Maria Siya'y mahal namin Yes, Maria Come on! Oh. Here we go Ave, Ave Maria Aming inatulo sa kwina Ave, Ave Maria Aming inatulo sa kwina Ang nais ng Diyos ay gawin natin lahat Lumundag o tumakbo o sumigaw o sumayaw Ngunit may isang bagay lang na dapat natandaan Sa lahat ng oras natin masama ay iwasan Kung nais nyo kaibigan merong malalapitan Sama-sama tayo dito tungo sa kabanalan Kasama natin dito matatalig na kaibigan Si Jesus at si Maria sa magpa Kailanman nyo isigaw Natin Maria o oh Maria Siya'y mahal namin Yes Maria Kaya is ikaw Natin Maria o oh Maria Siya'y mahal namin Yes Maria Come on Let's go Oh Ave, Ave Maria, aming inatulo sa kwina. 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 Break it down. Milo, Milo, energy, energy. Napakahusay, Maki. Pero, iho, wala pa rin dito sa Book of Life ang pangalan mo. Ha? So, anong ibig sabihin yan? Ibig sabihin yan, hindi ka pa makakasama sa amin sa langit. Ha? Maki, kailangan mo munang bumalik sa mundo. Hindi ka pa yata patay. Bumalik sa mundo? Ayoko! Mm. 
Ayoko nang bumalik sa mundo. Ang daming problema. Problema sa pamilya, sa community. Wala naman nagmamahal sa akin doon eh. Palagi na lang ako nasasaktan. Nahihirapan. Palagi na rin akong iniiwan. Pagod na pagod na ako. No one appreciates my worth. Kaya mas mabuti pang mawala na lang ako sa buhay na iyon. Maki, dyan ka nagkakamali. Kung alam mo lang kung gano'ng kakamahal ng mga taong gusto mong iwan. Kung sakaling gusto mo mang lumayo. Maki, hmm. lapit ka muna dito ng mapakinggan mo tong mga recordings ng mga panalangin nila para sa kapakanan mo. Mahal nga Berhen, hinaot mapasailo ko ni Maki. Daghan ka ang pagkulang niya. Sa gigugman ako siya pag-ayo. Bisan adlaw-adlaw man mi mag-away sa iyang papa, apan ang iyang kaayuhan ang naa sa among hunahuna. Giyahi siya sa seminaryo, kay dili niya kaya kung Mahal na ina, kahit na may di pagkakaunawan kami ni Maki, naway gabayin mo po siya. Mabait po siyang tao. Masama lang siya minsan dahil sa problema niya. Pero mabait naman po talaga siya eh. O Mary, Mother of Jesus, our eternal priest, let your holy love surround Maki. Shield him from the world's contagion. Let your revealing light shine upon him. Remind him, our blessed mother, that we do still care for him. We formators at times correct him, for we see a potential and worth in his person. Guide him and protect him, our blessed mother. Oh, see, mahal na mahal ka nila, Maki. Tama kayo. Mahal nga nila ako. Maki, mahal na mahal ka nila. Kailangan mo lang namang buksan ang iyong puso upang iyong makita at maramdaman kung gaano ka nila kamahal. Tama nga kayo. Hmm. Kailangan kong bumalik. Huwag kang mag-alala. Idudulog namin sa mahal na ina ang lahat ng iyong hangarin at panalangin. Oh. Oh. Oh, siya na... Kailangan na muna natin umakyat sa langit para sa final rehearsal. Para sa bukas na pista. Ha? Huh? Eh, paano naman ako dito? Oh, siya. Ah. Dito ka lang muna. Babalikan ka lang namin. Mabilis lang to. Kung may mga customer na, ay, paupuin mo lang muna. Babalik kami ka. Tara! Na 
Pwede natutulog ka, choose time? Sana all! Choose time, natutulog ka lang. Wow naman! Tapos ngayon, may pasigaw-sigaw effects ka pa? Oh, naku, Maki! Buti na lang, at hindi ka narinig niyo, brother. Extended pa yung chores. Damay pa yung work, ha? Ha? Mga demonyo? Ha? Dog, anong pinagsasabi mo? Ah, Nanaginip kasi ako kanina. Nasa threshold of heaven ako. Tapos, may mga anghel at mga demonyo nakakakilabot parang totoo. Sira! Baka epekto lang yan ang movie natin last night. Midnight Mass for more! Hindi totoo nga. Nanaginip talaga ako kanina. Maki! 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 Yes po! O Gaba Trap, anong ginagawa niya dito? Diba? Nakasan kayo sa garden? Brads! Ginisi lang po namin si Mak... Si Mak... Ay, este... May kinuha lang pala kami. Sige na po, brother. Baka hindi pa kami matapos sa church namin. O Diyos ko! Sige na! Mak Tros! Aspirants these days. O Maki! Siya nga pala, naghahantay ang mga mag magulang mo sa labas. Puntahan mo na lang sila. Pagkatapos mo maglipit, yung mga gamit. Sina mama at papa po? Oo, oh, Maki. May dala silang mga pagkain. Kaya kung ako sa'yo, bibilisan ko na ang maglipit. See you, brother. Susunod na po ako. Maraming salamat po, brother. Tatapusin ko lang muna to. Sige na. <sighs> uh. Napakaswerte ko naman pala talaga. Hindi ko man napansin ang pagmamahal ng mga taong nakakasama ko araw-araw. Akala ko lang kasi, ako lang mag-isa at walang kasama. Ngunit, nagkakamali pala ako. Patuloy pala akong pinagdarasal ng inay at itay. Kahit, lagi sila nagbabanga yan. Mahalin pala ako ng mga kasama ko. Pati na rin ang mga formators ko. They really do care for me. Tunay nga napaka-misteryoso ng buhay ng isang tao. Kung ikaw ay nakatingin lang sa sarili mong kalagayan, tsak na problema at nadilima lang talaga ang iyong makikita. Hindi mo ma-appreciate ang pagkasiyahan at pagmamahal ng mga taong dala na kasama mo sa iyong buhay. Okay, Maki. Tama na ang drama. Basta always remember, do your duties extraordinarily well. At isa pa, hmm, someone's there for you. 
and that someone is Mary. Tutus tuos Maria, ako iyong iyo, aking ina. Ngayon at sa wakas, no noaan ko narin ang ibig sabihin ng kantang to, na ang bawat hakbang ko sa buhay, ang saya, lungkot, sakit, problema, at kahit mga kasalanan ko ay dapat ialay sa mahal na ina. Her being immaculately conceived will make even my faults and sins worth offering to God. Siya mismo ang aalay nito sa kanyang anak na si Jesus. Lagi siya nagmamatyag at nagmamahal sa iyo. You may doubt your vocation at times, but lagi mong tandaan, habang ikaw ay nabubuhay, your life will always be full of puzzles and mysteries. At magkaroon ka ng debosyon kay Maria, and you will see what miracles are. sadyang misteryoso. Maraming mga pangyayari na hindi mo agad maintindihan. At di mo alam at maintindihan kung hanggang kailan ang hangganan. Kung ikaw man ay nasasaktan, naguguluhan, o di kaya'y naghahanap ng makakapitan, tandaan na ang mahal na ina ay laging andyan para tayo ay gabayan patungo sa anak niyang si Jesus. It is only when you slow down that you give yourself time to reflect and appreciate those beautiful things that are taking place around you. Laging tandaan na ang mahal na ina ay laging andyan. Sa kanyang pista bukas, ialay ang inyong mga problema at ligaya Tutus tuos Maria, buong buo, iyong iyo, aming ina. Tutus tuos Maria, ako iyong iyo, aking ina. Lahat ng hawak ko, lahat ng buhay ko, lahat nari iyong iyo. Ang bawat hakba na sa buhay ko, sa iyo Maria, inihahapilin ko. Pangarap ng buhay ko Ang tanging alay sa'yo Ngayon ay tanggapin mo Sa'yo matatagpuan Ang kaligayahan Utos ko sa Maria Apoy iyong iyong hakin ina Lahat ng hawak ko, lahat ng buhay ko Lahat nga rin iyong 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 Tutus Passing through of Tutus Tus 2021. Aspirant Peter Kamara as brother assistant. Aspirant Jude Baring and Carl Pilyu as evil minions. Aspirant Rodel Kabil, Raya Napura, and Wilson Pasahol as drug addicts. As 
Tyrant Butch Olivar as Don Jose. Aspirant Xavier Cometa and Jansen Andrake as Martyrs. Aspirant Julieto Cossip Jr. as Angel Rafael. Aspirant Ancho Daidai as Angel Gabriel. and aspirant Alan Abelio as Maki. Once again, the cast of Tutu Stools. Crew, Follow Light, aspirant Virgilio Junjun Alikawai. Live streaming, aspirant Ace Rolio. Prompter, aspirant Glenn Brian Ustado. Choreographer and makeup artist, Charil May Artigliano. Crystal Anlas Timosa and Maria Abigail Salandron. Technical in charge, aspirant Rudel Cabil and Ralph Suriaga. Musicians, aspirant Rodel Cabil, Vicente Cabides, Rafael Garol, Charlie Aranchado, and Father Vince Michael Sabal, SDB. And directed by yours truly, aspirant Vince Joseph Pedrola, and Brother John Erwin Encarigues, SDB. Once again, the cast and crew of Tutu's Tools. Let's give them a warm round of applause. Thank you so much. Let us now welcome the Don Bosco in our midst here in Don Bosco Formation Center, Reverend Father Adrian Mendoza, SDB, for the traditional good night talk. Good evening, everyone. First of all, we thank the organizers and the cast for this beautiful academia. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> the story is very relevant, very much connected to our experiences, to our spiritual life. Many of us, if not all, can truly relate to the message. It's just so applicable to all. How our Blessed Mother inspire us in our different life's situations. Therefore, congratulations to the script writers of the play, aspirants Vince, Glenn, and Jude. Let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations, of course, because the script won't be depicted on stage without the producers and directors, thanks to Brother Irwin and Aspirant Vince. And for all the actors who played their role perfectly, congratulations. The musicians, the logistics, those behind the stage, the staff for lights and sounds, the setup. Congratulations as well. I believe the Academia has helped each one of us prepare for the big solemnity tomorrow. So plugging, I would like to invite everyone to come here for our Mass at 6 o'clock in the morning. Our Lord, of course, and our, with our Blessed Mother, are, and all the angels and saints in heaven are proud and happy for this such great tribute tonight. We have been reflecting during these nine days of Novena on the dogma of Mary's Immaculate Conception, reinforced, of course, by your sermonettes, the sermonettes of the aspirants, nose gaze and other organized activities and still more tomorrow the title of our tribute today is totus tuus which they have already explained during the play is a latin phrase which means totally yours actually it is a shortened form 
of totus tuus ego sum, which means I am completely yours. This was the motto of Pope Saint John Paul II, taken from Saint Louis de Montfort's book, True Devotion to Mary, which signifies our desire to give ourselves entirely to Jesus Christ through Mary. This then will remind us that our true devotions to Mary is the most effective means of consecration to Jesus. I repeat that. Our true devotion to Mary is the most effective means of consecration to Jesus. We are all fortunate because we belong to this family, the Salesian family of St. John Bosco. John Bosco is a Marian saint. He passed this devotion to us, this particular devotion and love for Mary. We might ask, why do we have to pass through Mary when we can go directly to Jesus? Well, as I have mentioned earlier, true devotion to Mary is the most effective consecration to Jesus. In the dream at nine, it is Jesus himself who gave Mary to St. John Bosco. You know, we are trying to propagate and advertise the new name of our chapel because our chapel has no name yet. It's only known as Don Bosco Seminary. When people come here to hear Mass or to attend our celebrations, they say, sa guardhouse lang sa may simbahan. Huh? We don't have a name for our chapel, so we are now making the first step. Okay? So um, we have printed calendars to so support our <laughs> advocacy. Okay? Um, we have printed calendars there in the picture. The dream at nine. Don Bosco, when he was a kid, he was only nine years old, he had a dream, and that started all. We are part of that dream. When you entered, coming here, you see at the side that, I don't know how to call it, work of art at the side, there's a dream at nine. G uh, Don Bosco, the small kid, uh, Johnny Bosco, there's Jesus, there's our Blessed Mother, teaching Johnny the mission the mission of the Salesians. Okay? So in a dream at nine, it is Jesus himself who gave Mary to St. John Bosco. In the same way, Jesus gives Mary to each one of us to be our mother, just as Jesus gave Mary to the apostles and to the church. As Bosconians, she is our teacher, our guide, and our protectress as well. Our life will go on. We have our missions, challenges, and battles to face. Just like Mary did, she had to face the cross and suffering before experiencing the glorious resurrection. I was very much amused by the drama tonight. No? They really did their part, their role very well. No? If can, I can only enumerate everyone, I would. Well, it was a very nice one. The devils were good actors. Um, Don Jose, okay, he's a very good singer. While he was singing that song, I was touched by the song, no? <laughs> You know that I wrote that song, but um, I, I wrote that long time ago when I was very young, when I was just practical trainee, not even practical trainee, student of philosophy. And then after that, I, we keep on singing it. And because the, the, the song comes from me, sometimes I don't feel the song. No. But tonight, the way he sang it was very touching. No? I had a lot of memories. <laughs> I still remember when I touched the piano in order to write that song. I said, I'm a fan of Gary V. Gary V's song, Could You Be My Messiah? Could you be Messiah to me? 
So if Gary V is asking Jesus, could you be my Messiah to me? I will make my own version. Maria, could you be my mother? Maria, maari ba kitang tawaging inay? So that, that, that gave birth to it, the thought of the song. Then how would I do the introduction, which Father Vince played it beautifully in his own version as well. At that time, the song of Mandoling Francisco was very new. Panalangin ng pagbubukas palad. Tan dan da ra 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 See, so that that I was taking pictures during the 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 play, but I got distracted while Boots was playing, was singing that song. Of course, the song that gave me really goosebumps tonight, and I guess also you, because you keep on clapping your hands. The version of the two angels, that song of Mary's faith. Of course, there are a lot of many many things. So congratulations once more to the organiz organizers and the production team. Let me conclude. Our life goes on. Let's not give up, but be inspired because we have a mother beside us. She reminds us to, to live always in the grace of God. Immaculada Concepcion. As the song goes tonight, Ang nais ng Diyos ay gawin natin lahat. Lumudag o tumakbo o sumigaw o sumayaw. Ngunit may isang bagid lang na dapat tandaan sa lahat ng oras natin. Masama ay iwasan. Break it down. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So that was the last, the last word is the most expensive, uh, more, the most um, meaningful one. Masama ay iwasan. Living in God's grace. Run, jump, shout, but do not sin. That's the message of the Immaculate Conception. Being full of grace, being immersed in God's love and goodness. And only one thing can destroy this beautiful reality, sin. Therefore, we ask our Blessed Mother to pray for us always. May never lose our way. We thank God for His goodness and mercy. But let us do our part as well. Just as what Mary did in answer to God's goodness. May we be truly blessed as we celebrate the wonderful feast tomorrow. With this, I say to everyone, happy feast day and good night. Thank you so much, Father Andy. We would like to invite everyone for some refreshments before you go home. Once again, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Totus tuus, Maria.